guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, then hello, my name is Jess, and we talk about all things fashion, travel, lifestyle, living your best life over on this channel. So if that sounds like a bit of you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. But today's video is going to be a few different ways to style a leather jacket. Now, a leather jacket to me is quite a wardrobe essential. I feel like there is a million different ways that you can wear them. They match so many different styles. And honestly, it's just an essential in my wardrobe that I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of. I think my leather jacket is probably gonna be there for a very long time. Now, I've had a leather jacket in my wardrobe for as long as I can remember. It used to actually be one of the only coats that I owned. And now I've got a new one, which I've replaced my old All Saints one. I used to have like a cropped, slightly tighter fitting one. I now prefer a more oversized fit. So I have sold that one and swapped it out a few years ago. And I genuinely love it. I've got a worse behavior one that was about 380 pounds ish. So a little bit more on the expensive side, but it's genuine leather and I honestly, think it's gonna be in my wardrobe for the rest of my life. What I'll do is I'll leave it linked down below alongside some similar alternatives. However, I would recommend if you want a genuine leather one to check out Vinted or other kind of platforms similar because there is so many options around that are really affordable and secondhand is sometimes the best way to go for things like genuine leather. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump into the video and share with you all of the outfit ideas. Everything that I'm wearing, I will leave linked in the description box and if the exact link isn't there, it's because the item is older. I like to rewear my clothes and not buy new too often so I'll leave similar links down below for anything that is not currently available for sale but hopefully you enjoy these outfits and if you have any recommendations let me know and I'll get some more filmed in the future. Outfit number one we've gone really layered and simple for an outfit that I tend to wear for really dressed down days where I'm just running errands or just doing things that I don't care to be too dressed up for so I've obviously got the leather jacket on on the top Hoodie underneath, just a big black hoodie from Worst Behaviour. This is like a really nice oversized fit. I've got a t-shirt underneath just for a little bit of interest in the middle. And then I've just gone for some cropped jeans and these um, dunk dupes, which I've had for ages from Primark. They're just a really good dupe that adds a little bit of something else to the bottom. I would ordinarily go for my Vans. However, my Vans are currently being washed, so we can't go for those. But this is a good outfit if you want something really simple, really easy to create. I can guarantee you probably own some white trainers some blue jeans, a t-shirt, a hoodie and a leather jacket. And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you want to style a leather jacket, so you probably should have one of them. <laughs> Outfit number two, we've gone for a very simple, what I would say is more of like a Pinterest inspired vibe. I've actually got a couple of leather jackets and I think that this one is the best suited to this outfit, but I do also have like a straight one that would look really cool too. But I've just gone for some knee high boots, some semi sheer tights. These are a 15 denier from um, ASOS. I'll leave them linked because they are yet to snag absolutely love them. I've had a pack of three for honestly so long now and they just, they're just they absolutely perfect. I've got a little skirt on that's got pleating at the front which I think looks really cute. Oversized cream jumper which I'll link similar um, but the exact one that I've got molts like crazy so I won't link this one because it drives me insane so I don't want to recommend a product that is not great but any cream jumper and pleated little duo will do. Um, knee high boots obviously and the leather jacket so a very simple one. Not ideal for the right depths of winter but really great when you are on the little lead up to spring or a day that's maybe not so cold. I personally would just chuck on a really big chunky scarf or maybe some different tights if I wanted to wear it right now. But to be honest, I'm not actually cold in any way because I find when I wear knee high boots, they keep my legs quite warm. Um, so it's quite nice and handy. But yeah, very, very simple outfit. It's very much giving like Pinterest girl aesthetics and I'm really here for it. I think it looks really cute. So definitely one that I will wear and have been wearing similar vibes of already. Um, but yeah, it's nice and cute. I like it a lot. Easy breezy, no fuss, very comfortable. I've gone for leggings with boots, little sweatshirt underneath, which is just tonal to match with the scarf, beanie on my head and just some sunnies. So very good for a winter's walk or something where you just wanna be really relaxed, really chilled, really comfy. This is so, so toasty. And this scarf, this is actually from ASOS about five years ago, but I'll try and find similar if you're interested because it is honestly so big and snuggly. And I actually sometimes just put a little safety pin in here to hold this rather than tying it or anything, because it does fall down quite a lot where it's quite heavy. But such a good outfit for just going for a walk or something really easy where you just don't want to be too dressed up and you want something a little bit more no fuss. Okay, very simple outfit and probably the easiest to recreate out of everything I've put together. Although my outfits are always pretty easy to recreate, to be honest with you. So I've just gone for this really classic blue denim, black boots, black belt, black roll neck. Simple, simple, simple. Very... 
I feel like I'm Joey in Friends right now. Like this is the kind of outfit vibe I'm getting. I feel like I'm Joey. This is the kind of thing he wore all the time. But I really like this. Whenever I'm in doubt of like not wanting to wear all black, I just chuck on a pair of blue denim instead and it instantly makes an outfit look a little bit different. These are the row jeans from Weekday, which I wear all the time. If you've seen my videos before, you know these are a staple. They're the extra high-waisted ones and they just look so great with pretty much everything. So always a pair of trousers that end up coming out of my wardrobe. And to be honest, this is just such an easy outfit. Like this is probably my easiest way to wear the leather jacket. If I wanted to make it a little bit less winter and a little bit more spring, I'd maybe put like a little cropped version underneath, like a little cropped t-shirt or something and some trainers. But for right now, I really like this one. Um, to smarten it up, just a little pointed boot would look really cute. But this is just more of an everyday vibe, so I thought I would keep to the chunky boots for now. I feel like it's quite hard to tell the layers on this one because I am wearing literally all black. But I've just gone for leggings again with my Doc Martin boots, which is just such a classic. I love how clumpy these look with leggings. I don't know why, I just really like chunky boots with like skinny leg jeans or like leggings or something. It just looks really nice. Then I've gone for this black scarf, which is an oldie from Zara. It's just like a nice throw on shawl type scarf. Black hoodie again, same one as before, and then the leather jacket. So just a really simple, easy way of layering an outfit that looks really nice. And I could also just obviously flick this round if I wanted to and make it a little bit more snug. But I quite like sometimes having the scarf hanging down because I think it just adds a little bit of interest. And I love when outfits are sometimes quite top heavy. So like lots of big oversized up the top and then you just got like slim leg of some sort and boots. I just think it looks really cool. This one is so cute and very similar to the previous with the skirt, but I've tried to mix it up a little bit. So I've just gone for this little skirt that's printed from Kiwi & Co, which is a really nice black with little flowers on. I love this kind of thing when it's winter and spring because it just gives a little bit of spring, but still keeps you in winter if that makes sense. So I've just gone for oversized jumper with that, some chunky boots, which are really old from H&M, but I'll link similar. And then obviously just the leather jacket. So we've gone for slightly feminine with a little bit of flower, but still really kind of keeping the grunged vibe. And just, oh, honestly, I love it. I used to wear this leather jacket all the time and I'm slowly starting to reach for it a little bit more because I just think it's such a classic. And where it's a bit oversized, but still the same vibe, so perfect for so many different outfit ideas. And I just really, really like it. I think it just gives so much to an outfit and adds that little bit of something else. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing some really easy to recreate outfits with a leather jacket. Whenever I put together these ways to style videos, I really try and think about outfits that are more timeless. However, sometimes they're a little bit more trend focused to the year. And I really try and focus on wearing things that I know that I wear a lot in my wardrobe and that most other people seem to own or have similar to, so that when you watch these, you can get as much inspiration as possible without having to go out and buy any new bits to style your new piece or whatever it is that you're watching the video to get styling advice for. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you've got anything that you would like me to style in the future, let me know in the comments and I can get that added to the list. As always, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.